Hey, how's it going? And today, this is just a quick follow-up to this video I did a while ago on procedural fire. In this one, I showed you how to project it against a surface. But I was thinking, what if you don't want a, a surface? What if you just want the flames by themselves? And so I was going to show you how you can do that. And it's, it's pretty easy, actually. It just took me some finagling and messing around to figure it out. So here we go. We're going to go into model and we'll go to geometry, ground plane, and we'll go OK. And there it is. And we'll just zoom in a little bit on this like that. And then we're going to turn our scroll wheel and then we can grab this green one. And we are just going to type in negative 90 here. And then we can go into our surface editor and let's go ahead and just turn down the specularity. Then we'll go into edit node graph and you just do type in color and pull up a color layer. So you just go double click and there it is. And then I'm assuming you've already got the plugin loaded. So we're going to double click this and we're going to change the layer type to procedural. Then we're going to go to the procedural type and we're going to go to torch. And in here, he's got other ones you can play around with, but I like flame. And then we're going to put it along the Y axis. And then we just close that. The trick or tip here is you're going to put color into color, but then you're going to need this alpha and the alpha is going to go into transparency. And then we're going to close this and we're going to close this if we go into we can match our camera to our perspective so I always do that and then we can go into VPR and there's our flame but you notice we've got this background now that's in the way so the way to get rid of this ground plane is simply go into backdrop and turn it off and then you've got your flame by itself and then you can go in and bring in additional objects and position them within the scene or you could just render the flame out as a png32 and then just composite it into another scene using fusion or something like that so this is one easy way to get your flame by itself and you could do that with all the other flame options too so that's all i had for today this is just a quick tip for getting the flame by itself and by itself of course there's a lot more functionality uh, it has a lot more utility you can use it for a lot more things so anyway if you know of another way to do it please feel free to share it as always and so take care have a great day and i'll talk to you next time